Lesson 144, Ein Words and the Genitive Case. Lisa, we've been spending a lot of time talking about the genitive case with names and with the definite article, but we haven't really talked about Ein Words, have we? Not yet, no. But luckily, the forms are very, very similar and will remind our listeners of the definite article forms. I guess we could say that we're going to see a few minor differences. <laughs> yes, we are. But <laughs> only in that it's a different word. Other than that, it's not too big of a difference. So in the chart, you see that masculine and neuter nouns with mine would take minus. The ending is es, which is the ending that definite article also has des. If you just scratch out the D, you have it there. And the same happens for feminine and plural. The definite article was der for the genitive case, and mine just takes the ER. So if you scratch out the D again of der, we have the ending ER. So you're saying that the ES and the ER are in the same places as they were with the definite article? Yes. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> 